Okay, hello everybody, we're back. So today we're going to learn about binary trees. So the cool thing about, you know, we've learned so far about linked lists and you know that each node of a linked list has a pointer inside of it. So to create a binary tree, a binary tree, you can think of it as another type of a data structure, but the cool thing about this is that now a node, instead of just having one pointer, it has the data that it stores in it, but now in addition, it has two pointers, a left pointer and a right pointer. So if we were to make the struct, we'd have to put two node pointers in there. Okay? So, you know, so when we create our struct, we would go struct and let's call it node again. And you can see the code there on the left right here. I want an integer to be our data and now we're going to have two node pointers in the struct as well. We'll call one left and we'll call another one right. So, so, so the, this left and this right are pointers and all three pieces of data are uh, inside our node. Now the question is, this is going to look something like, a, so a binary tree just means that you can have a node and you can have uh, a, a other children and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be balanced, okay? For example, that's not a that's not, doesn't look like a a balanced tree, but it's still a, it's still a binary tree. Any particular node has at most one or two um, ch children. Now, we're going to be looking at a specific type of a binary tree or what's called a BS tree, a BST, or a binary search tree. Now, that's also called an ordered binary tree. So let's actually create one. So I'm going to take the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if you'll notice, the middle number here is the 4 because there's three on the left and three on the right. So I'm going to make the four our root node. So I'm going to have four here, OK? And then on the left, I'm going to have, um, now think about this, OK? Everything on the left. So the way the, way the, uh, the BST works, the binary search tree, is the rule is, Everything on the left has to be smaller than the parent. Everything on the right has to be bigger than the parent. So for example, in this situation, now I don't want to put one here because now how am I going to fit two and three in there? I, I suppose I could, but I'd rather have it be a little bit more balanced. So in this particular case, I'm going to put a two here, okay? Now, and then I'll go left, and I'll put a one, and then I'll go right, and I'll put three. Now, notice, three is bigger than two, so that's good. One is less than two, that's good. And also, all of these numbers here, the one, two, three, are all less than four. So now let's go to the right of four, and we'll say, okay, um, 
why don't we put a 6 here, okay? And then what's less than 6? Well, that's 5. And what's greater than 6? That's 7. So right now, we actually have a, an ordered binary tree or a binary search tree. And th this structure is super useful in computer science. But what we want to be able to do now is we want to be able to traverse this tree. Okay? So this is called tree. What we're going to do next is tree traversal. So there's two different types of traversal, okay? The first one is called depth first. I can't, I can't write here. Depth first. And the other one is called breadth first. Tree traversal. Um, now, having these two different types, we also have to first of all kind of decide what they what do they mean so when you when you do depth first obviously trees are usually bigger than this data structure when we do depth it means that we we go all the way to bo to the bottom looking for something now you'll see what that means once we decide upon the traversal orders so in the depth first there's actually three different types of traverse uh, order traversals. One of them is called in order. Oops. Okay. The other one is called pre-order. And the other one is called post-order. Now, breadth first doesn't have three different types. For breadth first, there's only one option. And for breadth first, you actually search the levels one at a time. So in this case, this is the first level. So you would search the four first. Okay. Then you'd go to the next level, and then you'd search the two and the six. Okay. Then you'd go to the last level and you'd search the 1, the 3, the 5, and the 7. So this would be, the, this would be a breadth first search. 4, 2, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're searching um, each level going down. We'll leave this, we'll leave the algorithm to achieve this uh, after we do the other ones, the depth first ones. So let's take a look at what the other ones mean and we will, we're going to have to write kind of like a, a little algorithm or a little uh, mnemonic to help us with this. Okay. So the, the algorithms for these for in order, it means that we will have to go to the left child, okay, and then we'll go to the root, and then we'll go right. Pre order, okay, means first we'll go to the root, then we'll go left then we'll go right. Post order means first we'll go left, then we'll go right, and then we'll go to the root. Okay, so I've drawn the, the tree again. Let's do in order first. Ready? So notice it left is first. I'm going to underline the roots because those are kind of special because we're actually going to be processing the data in that location. So if we go left root right here for in order, let's do in order. So this is in order. Ready? So we start at 4. That's the root node. Okay? 
We'll go left. Now we're at the 2. Okay? Then we'll go left again. Now we're at the 1. We'll go left again, but there's nothing here. This pointer is now pointing towards 0. It's a null pointer. So it returns. Now we're at the root. And so now we write, that's where we process it, so we write the 1. Okay? Now we go right on the 1, but there's nothing here. Okay? So we return. Then we're finished processing this one. Now we, go, we return again. Now we were on, we finished left for the 2. Now we're on root for the 2, so we process the 2. Then we go right. Now we go left. There's nothing here. See? So then we come back. Now we're on root. Now we process, which means, in this case, printing it out, like I said. Then we go right. There's nothing. It's, it's a null pointer. So we return. We're finished processing the 3. We return. We're finished processing the 2. We return. Now we're at the 4. Okay? Now we finish left on the 4. Now we process the 4, which is the root, and now we go right. Now we're on the 6. So now let's go left. Now we're at the 5. Now we go left, and the left on the 5 is a null pointer, so it returns, and now we're at the root on the 5. We process it, and we print 5. Then we uh, go right, and there's nothing, so we return. We're finished, we've finished processing the 5. We return, now we're at the 6. Now we've already gone left on the 6. So now we process the 6, so we print it. Then we go right on the 6. Now we're at the 7. Now we go left on the 7. It's a null. Return, go back. Now we're at the 7 again. And now for the 7, we process it or print it. Go to the right, there's nothing, return. We finish the seven, return. We finish the six, return. Now we're at the four and we finished, return. And so now you'll see that the order for in order, number one, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Great, okay, so let's now do uh, pre-order. So for pre-order, that's number two. First we're going to go root, so we'll process the root, then we'll go left, then we'll go right. Okay, ready? We start at the four. So the first thing we do here is we process the node as soon as we get to it. Okay, that's the, fir that's the first thing we do. So in this case, we're going to go four. Then we're going to go left. Now we're at the 2. We process it. We print it. Processing it means printing it in this situation. Okay? We, not necessar we don't necessarily print it all the time. We could just simply be searching the tree. But this is the order we would be searching it. When I just say printing it, it just means that um, in, this exam in the example when I say print, we, maybe we would just print out the data at that node. Okay, you, when you're at the node, you could do other things too. Like you could test to see if you're found, uh, you found what you're looking for, or perhaps something else. Okay, but the point is, is that that's when you do the processing for the node. So now we've done two, and so we go left. Now you're at the one, and now you, the first thing you do is you process it. And then when we're at the one, we go left, and it's null, so we return, and 
we go right and it's null we return okay now we return again because we're finished now you're at the two we've already gone left we've already done root and left now you go right now now when we're, we're here the first thing we do is we process it so we'll write down the three then we go left null return go right null return okay then we're finished the three return now we're at two now we finish the two return now we're at the four we're back at the top again we've already done root and left for the four now we go right now we're at the six now we process it then we go left now we're at the five we process it we go now we go left again null return go right null return and we finished the five return now we're at the six we've already done root and left now we go right we're at the seven we process the seven then we go left return right return finish the seven return finish the six return and finally we're back at the four and we're finished the four return and we're done and so that's pre-order for this tree okay we have one left and that is called post order now the post order one in my opinion I think it's super important because you'll find out there's certain things you can only do in post order so uh, pause the video and see if you can figure out what the what the order of these should be pause it now and see if you can infer from how I've described in order and pre order okay well let's give this a shot and uh, let's try post order so post order is the last one where we go left right and then root okay so we actually process it last that's interesting let's try it so let's start at the four and let's go left now we're at the two okay let's go left now we're at the one now let's go left and it's null so let's return we don't do anything yet now we go right is null now we return now we process the one so now it's one then the one is finished so let's return we go back up to the two we've already done left on the two now let's do right now we're at the three now let's do left on the three now let's do right on the three and those both return because they're both null then then we return from the right and finally let's process the three so we get three then we'll return and we get up to the two now the two we've already done left and right on the two so let's process it so there's the two now we return from the two and we go back to the four now we've only done left on the four so now we go right now we're at the six then let's go left on the six now we're at the five then we'll go left on the five return right on the five return and now we'll process the five then we return and now we're at the six we've already done left but now we have to do right on the six so we go right now we're at the seven now we go left on the seven right on the seven return now we're at the seven now we process the seven then we return now we're at the six and we finished both left and right for the six so we process it then we return and now finally we're at the four and we have finished processing left and right and so we process the four 
and we're done. Now the question is, why is post order important? Think about this for a second and please remember that all of this memory, okay, we're going to be allocating it using pointers on the heap. So think about, think about for a second why post order is important. All right, hopefully you figured out that the post order is super important because if we had to free all the memory allocated in this binary tree, we'd have to do it using post order. Imagine if we tried to free things in, a, you know, imagine if you tried to free the four first, right, as in pre-order, then you'd never be able to get to anything else and so you'd have a huge amount of memory leak because the only way you can get to the one is through the four and through the two. That's the only way you can get to the one. So if you free the top node first, everything below it is gone. You, you won't be able to access it anymore because there'll be no way uh, to get those memory addresses to, f to, to, to call delete on them. So essentially, the post order is the one you would use for freeing all the memory in the binary tree.